hi guys welcome back to the ctx cloud this is the video number five in our training series so before we configure our delivery controller we need to configure our hosting layer for the hosting layer you can choose any of the high hypervisor like send server uh, vmware vcenter azure aws so in our demonstration we are going to use vmware vcenter so this is my ESXi server on the top of this ESXi server I am going to install the v VMware vCenter appliance so to install VMware vCenter appliance uh, I need to mount ISO of, uh, VCSA so this is my VCSA appliance ISO I just right click and click on open after that you need to go on to VCSA UI installer go on to the win32 and then search for the installer file just click on and then write run as administrator so it's uh, loading after that here is the some options install upgrade migrate or restore so this is the our first vcenter so we are going to install click on install now it's asking uh, the stage one uh, deploy vcenter so we need to click on yes next we need to accept all the terms and conditions from the vmware just accept click on next after that is it's asking embedded uh, platform uh, where we are uh, it's asking if you want to install sql on the same server or external in the external if you have uh, another sql server so you can configure vmware vcenter uh, uh, database on the different server so i'm going to use embedded platform so click on next after that you need to enter the ESXi host name or the vCenter server name so this is our first vCenter so I have the ESXi host name so you need to enter the host name uh, here so my target uh, ESXi host uh, IP address is 192.168.1.31 and it's asking for the username and password so my ESXi username is root and the password is okay so click on next yes okay now it's asking for the vmware uh, vm settings for the virtual appliance deployment so i'm going to use vc ctx vcsa01 the root password it's uh, it's the root password you need to give so i am giving the password click on next okay so it's asking the select deployment size so i'm going to select thinny because uh, it's uh, compatible with to uh, virtual cpus and 10 gb of memory so i'm going to select thinny and the storage size is default after that click on next so it's asking where you want to put this uh, vcenter so i'm going to put put on my shared storage nsx1 click on thin disk mode because it will it is going to acquire some of uh, like a huge amount of storage from your shared storage so in the thin mode uh, the space will increase whenever it is required so in the thin provision uh, it's better to provision as a thin so click on next here we need to specify our network details so uh, i'm going to put this on vm network a port group so ipv4 uh, yes i am using the ipv4 so it has the option to select ipv6 as well as but uh, in our environment we are going to use ipv4 fully qualified domain name is the optional uh, here we need to specify our vcenter ip address 192.168.1.20 so this is the ip address i am going to assign our vcenter next is subnet mask so 255.255.255.0 this is the subnet mask gateway 192.168.1.1 this is our gateway so in the dn server i am going to mention our dn server so this is our dn server 
and click on next so just check all these these details before you finish so i have checked and all the details are correct so i am going to finish so our first stage deployment of the vcenter appliance has been started and it will take some time so guys our deployment is in progress so let's wait some more time and we'll back after installation so guys you can see that my first stage has been completed for the installation now it's time to configure the second stage so click on continue so click on next it's asking for the time synchronization so i'm going to use the ntp server this is my ntcp server ssh i'm going to enable this click on next it's asking for the sso password sso domain so i'm going to use v spheurv spare dot local and the password click on next i accepted all the terms and conditions click on next and then finish click on ok and our second stage installation has been started so i'm going to pause this video meanwhile it get finished so guys you can see that my vcenter installation has been finished and you can access it via this url so just close it and you can see that just paste this url and you can see that launch vspare client html5 now enter your password so my password is administrator at the rate vsphere dot local and the password so it will take some time while loading inventory okay guys so you can see that my vcenter is back after uh, login so here we need to manage uh, the license for the vcenter and configure our domain so these things we are going to conf uh, these things we are going to configure in our next video so uh, as of now i'm going to stop the uh, stop this video and let's submit in our next video